what's up star circle it's your girl k star and i'm back with another video for you guys welcome back to my channel right now i am chilling in my airbnb and um i end up moving to another one because the other one was booked up unfortunately for months um but i'm enjoying my time here i like it it's a huge house and it is real chill you know it's very very clean and yeah i've just been here I've been in the gym I started getting back into the gym this week just getting back into the swing of things and getting to know the area that I'm living in right now it's pretty much downtown area downtown LA but it's definitely a culture shock for sure because everything is so different like compared to Atlanta like the culture is just everything is just different so I'm just getting used to everything here um so, but I appreciate everybody who called me, FaceTime me, text me, you know, to check up on me. Like, I appreciate it so much. It's nice to see our faces. It's nice to hear from you. All my people back in Atlanta, shout out to my family in Jersey. Y'all know y'all always call me, but, you know, I feel the love. I feel the love, and I appreciate all the support as well. It's going on. It's, it's past my second week now, y'all, so... I'm here, you know, I'm here, and this video, I just pretty much just want to update you guys on what's going on with me, and how am I adjusting here, and everything like that, just want to just sit and talk to y'all, like, but my analysis so far would be, LA County is huge, it's like, you could be in one part of LA, and then you go five, ten minutes and you in a whole nother part it's crazy i mean i mean atlanta's kind of like that when you're in midtown you drive 10 minutes and you're downtown but this is like on a whole nother level like it's so many different parts of la like it's insane so that's something that i definitely have to get used to back at home i used to shop at like whole foods and Publix, and like sometimes kroger and the health they have a, a health organic section or whatever so sometimes i shop there but they don't have a Kroger here, they don't have a Publix here. They do have a Whole Foods here. I did go to a Whole Foods, but they're not in every single part of the city. So I have to find a local grocery store. Around this area, there's a lot of um, like Asian and Mexican, you know, Spanish owned shops and like stores and restaurants, things like that. And um, I mean, they don't, they don't sell everything that I need. Like, I need like a Walmart or something like where I know if I go to Walmart like they gonna have everything that I need I mean you know it's cool I speak a little Spanish so I be you know going in the store and speaking a little Spanish shout out to my poppy who taught me how to speak a little bit of Spanish I miss you so much but um yeah so that's something that I'm getting used to guys um yeah so, what else can I tell y'all? What else can I tell y'all? Um, I'm excited to always go to networking events. Shout out to Kenyala for always sending me these events or whatever out here because I'm still trying to get in the loop of everything. Still getting used to everything, y'all. This is so new to me, man. Y'all don't need it. But other than that, I mean, I wake up, it's always sunny, it's beautiful, I mean, LA is beautiful, it really is, but it's just taking a long, it's, I mean, it's been two weeks, it's still taking some time for me to get used to it out here, it's just completely different from home and Atlanta, like, it's just different, but, you know, I feel like the more that I start getting acquainted with people and, like, being out more, like, productive-wise, though, you know, then I'll feel like I'm getting to the swing of things. But it's a lot. It's a lot to take in, y'all. When you're used to a certain city coming here, it's a whole nother ball game. So sometimes I wake up with anxiety. <laughs> sometimes I wake up like I can't believe I'm really here. But I just pray. I thought up my day is praying. And I just thank God for getting me here. I just pray that he continues to direct my path, you know, and take it one day at a time. Just take this journey one day at a time because, you know, I'm 
just trying to make sure I stay focused on what I came out here for. Period. Nothing more, nothing less. You know? But... But I love you guys so much. That's pretty much the update. I mean, I really don't have a lot to talk about. It's just... I guess the last thing is pretty much Staples Center, you know, is doing this welcome home event for me to start working and things like that. So I talked to my HR lady today and she said I should be hearing something this week, you know, so I'll be starting work soon. And yeah, I mean, in the meantime, I've just been going to the park, going to the library, walking around, trying to, you know, get used to just being out here every day, you know, so. That's pretty much it, y'all. But stay tuned for a video for Star Circle Sunday. It's going to be a good topic. And today. Yeah, but I'll keep y'all updated on everything. Um, and just know I'm good, you know. I'm good. And I'm just, you know, taking it one day at a time. That's all I can do. One day at a time. <laughs> Take it one day at a time, y'all. I love y'all so much. Have a wonderful day, Star Circle. I'll talk to y'all soon, okay? Mwah.